This afternoon, the Syracuse Common Council's Public Safety Committee met with police about violent crime in the city of Syracuse. The meeting addressing, among other things, how the department plans to deploy more officers onto the streets over the summer months. News Channel Lines, Madison Moore, listening to the virtual meeting. Madison, uh, the, the summer's just getting started. We have another team that is shot to death. I mean, what are they saying the plan is to try to curb some of this violence? Well, Jeff and Christy, the Syracuse Police Department announced they will be adding an additional summer deployment shift for the patrol unit and the investigations unit starting the first week of July and going through Labor Day. The detail will be used on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays from 3 p.m. to 11 p.m. when they see the most violent crime taking place in the city of Syracuse. They will also be implementing walking beats in areas prone to gun violence where officers will have an on-foot presence to engage with the community. Chief Buck said during the meeting that while these steps will hopefully help, the city needs to also look at fixing pre-existing conditions such as poverty, mental health, and substance abuse that are all a part of a community struggling with crime. Camden, New Jersey, less than a decade ago, considered the most dangerous city in America. Shootings, you wouldn't see any children because they were scared to come out of the house. This was a rough place. This was a rough place. And the attitude of the police force? It was more of a us versus them mentality. Um, we're, we're the good guys, and if you're not one of the good guys, you're one of the bad guys. It's absolutely the case. Former police chief Scott Thompson spent the last seven years trying to change that. In 2013, when the city disbanded the entire police department over budget constraints, political disputes, and union contracts, 